Uh, Leah, uh, if we could start off, if you wouldn't mind, just uh, telling us a little bit about yourself, uh, uh, I suppose where you come from, your family, and uh, why you're running for uh, Sinn Féin uh, this May. Well, I suppose I come from a place called Ballyborna, which is in the Walsall Gaelic of West Cork, um, and that is now where I live with my husband Nicky and our three young daughters. The eldest is twelve, and the youngest is seven. Um, I suppose my background really would have been media, and I've done a lot of work. I did a U European diploma in cultural project management, which was a two-year diploma, um, and most of my work would have been media-related, really doing television programs for RT and TG Carr. Um, so I suppose in that sense, you get a lot of an idea, I suppose, of what issues are out there because doing television work, you learn about people's stories. Um, and so what inspired me to become the MEP candidate for Sinn Féin for Ireland South, firstly, I suppose I got the position as the National Gaelic Officer. Gaelic being from the Gaelic, it's obviously a huge part of who I am. Um, Gaelic in our culture is, is our identity and that's something I'm really passionate about. And so it was a good fit for me to join Sinn Féin and to take up that position. And then I suppose as time was going by and with all the austerity cuts, I'm just an ordinary housewife really that I'd happen to have many talents in different areas. But I thought that the ordinary voice of people was missing. Um, you know, when you see friends and neighbours, including ourselves, living through these horrendous financial crises that we're stuck in, morale is low, everything is, you know, seems to be pretty disastrous. So you have two choices, in my view. You either become proactive and try and, and do something about it, or you just accept it. And I'm a doer, really. Uh, so you've been a member of Sinn Féin for uh, the last three years. Uh, why straight into Europe? Why not run in the council elections or hold off and run for the Dáil in, in a couple of years' time? Well, I suppose because the opportunity arose, really. Um, like, I didn't go into politics thinking I'm going to become a politician. I didn't have a five-year plan. I didn't say, you know, I'm going to go for council and then I'm going to go for, for you know, Dáil elections and so on and so forth. It just happened, I suppose, that I was there at the right time and that the opportunity presented itself. And I said, well, why not? I'll give it a go.